Hey guys, so if you're anything like me, which I know many of you are, you are behind on your scrapbooking. Uh, unless you don't scrapbook, then you haven't even begun. But if you have a lot of photos to get through, whether you're catching up or you're beginning, I thought I would share with you my method for organizing and planning out my scrapbook so that I can get it all sorted out. Um, I print all my pictures at home off of my printer, but if you order your pictures, this will be really helpful for you as well, and especially since I don't just use 4x6s. So yeah, let's start off with, this isn't completely blank, but it gives you the basic idea. So I do two columns of squares, um, and then in between them I put all the different months. And then under the months I'll list the things that I have things to document from. Um, so like this here under April has things like color run, hike, zoo, and I know that the, that means that I did the color run that month. I have pictures from going on a hike with my husband. We went to the zoo. So just the things that I actually have pictures from, enough pictures to scrapbook. Um, I write them in the month so that I know that they're coming. So then it ends up looking something like this. Um, so for example, up here, since when you first open, this is the beginning of the scrapbook. So here, there is no page on the side. This is the first page. So I cross this off and I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. And then I put how many, since some things I, I only have enough pictures for one page, some things I might use like three pages for. So that way I have an idea of how many pages I need. And I write them out and um, label what I'm going to use where. And then I have um, these cut out templates of the different size photos that I print at home, but you can also do whatever you can order. If you get order yours from like Walmart or CVS or Shutterfly or whatever, that way you can plan out on your layout like, okay, I have three pictures, so say here's my favorite picture. So if this were just a black piece of paper, you might have this is my favorite picture that I want to like have on the page. So there's my eight by 10, but then I have this super cute picture of the dog, but I really don't want it to cover up this picture too much. So let's do a three by five size and then, oh, but I do have this one other picture. So let's do a little wallet size here. Then it leaves room for letters or the title, or you can sketch out in pencil the letters that you want or something like that. Um, so I find that really helpful for like planning out my pictures um, and then as you see I have like this sheet here so these are pictures that I planned on doing in this size I already have them printed out um, and then what I can do especially since remember on this I had them all numbered is I can count out you know I don't always feel like scrapbooking in order sometimes I want to scrapbook for what I have things specifically for um, so, for example, I loved this picture, so I really wanted to make this page, but it wasn't going to be the first page in the album, but because I did that, I knew, oh, that was going to be such and such page, so I'll slide it in there. Um, here, I know that this is where these pictures are going, so the pictures are already waiting for me in the protective sleeve. Um, same with if I were to have like a specific piece of paper like this isn't scrapbooked on yet but I know that this is for Valentine's Day so it's on my Valentine's page waiting for the pictures um, same with like Christmas time um, I have a page here that I got like this snow here I specifically got for specific pictures of my dog in the snow so they're in here on the page that I know is Gandalf in the snow um, I recently did this page, but originally I had the sticker slid in here with the paper I wanted to use in the photo and it just wasn't put together yet. So I find that really handy. See here's one that just has the picture. This just has the large picture. Um, and I just find that really handy for getting my scrapbook organized and together because sometimes, especially with loose leaf paper, I'll see one or I'll see stickers and be like, oh. I want to get this specifically for such and such of a thing that happened in my life that I'm going to be scrapbooking and then bam I can put it right there it's gonna be waiting for me I'm not gonna accidentally use it for something else I'm not gonna lose it or ruin it it's right there all neat and organized and waiting for me 
so yeah, I hope that helps you guys with documenting your lives. Um, I really enjoy doing this kind of scrapbooking. I don't do it as an artistic thing, hence why my pages are so simple. Um, I just do it as an enjoyable way to preserve memories um, in ways that make me feel happy. Um, so if you do something like Project Life or something like that, then this might not pertain to you at all. Um, I would like to get into Project Life, but there's only specific things I'd use that for. Like, I like that I have this album for my family stuff. Um, I used to do for Jonathan every year a 4x6 album, but once we got married, we switched to a big one. Um, so I like that I have that separate. And then, you know, when I get pregnant or something like that, I definitely would like to do a Project Life where I'm documenting every day like a journal. But this is for a more specific emphasis on times that I was really happy. And I can flip through them and remember, oh, I was so happy there. That was such a nice day. Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. Enjoy your scrapbooking. Leave any questions, comments, anything of the sort. Give it a thumbs up if you like this method. Um, and I would love to see your scrapbook pages and inspiration. So, yeah. Have a craftastic day. Bye.